So it is currently Monday, the 21st, 21st, 21st of, or 22nd, 21st January. I've been off of uni for about five weeks. Um, I'm at home at the moment. I've got my train at 10 past 12. So I've packed. This is my room as well. Oh, this is one. Yeah, this is my room. Um... Yeah, this is what my parents bring back next week. That's kind of it. That's me. Hello. Um, but yeah, so I woke up early, just had a shower. Um, this is my New Year's resolutions starting today slash tomorrow. It's wake up early, get work done before it's like way before it's due and eat healthy restricted calories go to the gym okay so whilst i've been away i've had like not away been at home um i've had like two assessments due one i've already done and this one's due in tomorrow and oh my god what a ball ink everyone's been confused like no one's actually known how how you do it um I'm looking at my laptop, I'm looking down there, just no one has a clue, you have to do a, it's a, for research, you have to do a literature review, my topic has nothing on, <laughs> I found zero research, zero, you have to use at least five, at least five, how many have I got, I've got four, <laughs> I'll show you my question, what's my question? Open final draft, still a draft, and it's you tomorrow. It's fine, I just need to instead of so this is it, but instead of this, which doesn't really go, I need to put some a different piece of research. I've done it completely wrong, so I'm gonna get a bad grade. Um, but my question is main one, how does extensive use and time spent on social media cause individuals to form an online identity based on the feedback of their posts? And then I've got, do we form on different online person, what? Pers do we perform on different online personas based on what social media app we are using? So that's basically what I've done, it's going to either fail or get a third, guaranteed. Um, but on the ones that I was showing before, on my, what was it? I can't remember what one I handed in. It might have been a my gender one no my I have no idea but one that I handed in um which would have been on one of these videos I got a 2 1 so that's good I got 69 percent and you have to get 70 to get a first so that's annoying and then my glossary which is where I had to do like three words and define it kind of thing got a first in that got 70 percent so that's good so this one's about to drag my <laughs> grade all the way down and my class one that I'd done this holiday as well because I just didn't have a clue what I was doing. Just shoved it all in. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I just got my grade back for my learning portfolio. <coughs> Like, it's not a bad grade. I got a 2-1. But it's the fact that I got 63%. I think that's my lowest I've had. And if that's 63%, because I thought that wasn't too bad, this research proposal is literally going to be a third. It's not even going to be a fucking third, is it? I'm not going to pass. Same with the class one. Fuck. I want to stay two ones and firsts, high two ones, firsts, so then if the exam at the end of the year, because I've learned I've got an exam, if that goes shit, it's alright, <laughs> whereas all of these research ones now are going to literally <coughs> <coughs> be so bad, I was so ill last week as well, oh my god, we went to Rams, um, 
in Bristol and I had a sore throat the next day, like excruciating, it felt like sandpaper and then it just got worse and I couldn't even move, I was so ill. So that's my reasoning for not getting this done as quick as I should have done. Okay, so everything is packed. This is my, <coughs> I mean, ignore my skin. Like, my skin's really badly broken out. Don't look the best. Um, this is my outfit for the train. Basically, this is the only coat I'm taking back because my parents are bringing back the rest of my stuff, which is all of this, majority of my shoes. Um, <coughs> but this coat is from Urban Outfitters. Then I've just got on this hat from River Island. Gemini necklace, my Tiffany necklace, this is just a black polar neck. God knows where it's from. Same with the belt, God knows. These are from Primark. I need to get my top shop ones I used to wear all the time because they come up a lot higher and they're a lot more skin tight. I've just got my little Nike socks on and these are from Primark. And then I'm just taking, where's my bag? <coughs> I'm just taking this black bag from accessories from like ages ago just because it fits my laptop. I've got them and my paws in there and everything for us squares actually. But yeah, I'm quite sad to go back because I like my room here. But I feel like I'm gonna be more motivated at uni. Um I get a lot more work done. I feel like my New Year's resolutions are gonna start then. We're gonna eat healthy, we're gonna eat salmon, we're gonna eat really nice food. So yeah. Honestly, this is the amount of things I'm taking back. This bag, <clears throat> Nike bag, and then this is my smaller suitcase because my parents will bring down the big one, but like, I'm gonna be struggling. <laughs> <sighs> I just got to the station. Normally I'm platform one, but today I'm platform three. Um, they're filming the news, <laughs> like right over there. I had to walk past that, carrying like all my suitcases, struggling. <laughs> on the news casually just like falling over um there's a lot of people coming now platform one gosh you can't even see me Ooh. but yeah my grand dropped me off like quite early so i'm here for another like 40 minutes um but she gave me some salmon sandwiches which i'm meant to be not eating bread but she also got me mini eggs so we'll start the diet tomorrow um but yeah I'm eating my sandwiches now because I'm in this little baby pod um, all to myself. It's very warm. I'll show you my pod. Oh, I'm carriage B, so I'm hoping B comes here. Oh. This is Portsmouth. Twelve white what? Twelve twenty, not twelve. No twelve oh nine. Let's fucking hope I'm on the right bit, shall we? Glenn's literally made the best sandwiches and I'm excited to eat this. I've been like obsessed with salmon since Christmas. I don't know why. Oh, I am back now. I have unpacked everything. Um, basically, so it's all tidy. So I just have what my parents are going to bring down. Um, ate my mini eggs on the train. So that's my only treat. So I'm just going to have a banana now. Even though it's a loop, like 100 calories. But we're not going to count calories today. So we'll start that tomorrow and I'm going to drink some water. But I have a, um, I have a house viewing, I think, at five. So in the time being, I'm just going to, um, write out a food shopping list. So after the house viewing, I can go and do my food shopping. And once I've done that, I can come back and, um, write try and finish the rest of that um, essay and hand it in tomorrow. Tonight. Try getting tonight. 
I'm off to this house viewing. I literally look like something from The Walking Dead. This isn't good. I look grey. Oh, my skin is so bad. But yeah, so let's wrap this. I didn't bring any coats back apart from my brown one, so probably gonna be cold. And the food job is done. Oh. I've stuck to my New Year's resolutions. I woke up at it's like half eleven now. It's I woke up at about half six. Like my alarm went off at half six. I kind of steadily woke myself up to seven. I have literally just done nothing. Um, <clears throat> I called up my gym, cancelled, booked a viewing for Thursday because we have two tonight. Yesterday because I didn't end up filming anything else. I just went food shopping. Um, bought my food obviously <laughs> and came back and I just put on a pizza because it was easy but when we went to um when we went to the house being we got outside of the house and we were like oh we'll have to call up the place and um yep yeah, turns out it had been sold so we just stood outside someone's house randomly I woke up and I think I've scratched my eye um in my sleep because it's like you know when you feel like you have something in it but there's not so I feel like it's had an eyelash in it and it's kind of scratched my eye um but yeah so I had breakfast obviously eating healthy so I just had some like two wheat fix I'm counting my calories um I've done this last year counting my calories wasn't eat more than 1200 and I need to join this gym but I need money first um and also it looks quite professional and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing because like everything in my old room was all like you, you walked in you could see everything whereas this one just looks a bit bigger um so you can't be like oh there's that thing no one's on it let's go um but yeah so last year I would count my calories go to the gym so I basically I ended up only eating like a thousand calories every day for about three months I'd have alcohol some of the days and then I'd work out and basically burn off like <clears throat> 800 calories so I lost a lot of weight and I kind of want to do that again but in a healthier way like I was prioritizing calories over like healthy food so um I want to go to the gym because my bottom has sunk last year like going to the gym like I had really muscly legs I obviously was doing ballet um so I got muscly legs got bum and then when I stopped going to the gym in like May because of exams it kind of all just my waist shrank my legs shrank but it kept the bum so that's my plan but obviously I don't have a job I went to speed Tesco and yeah so I've just had some soup and I have a three hour lecture followed by a one hour lecture after that but I feel like the three hour one won't go on that long and then we have two viewings after that so. I'm so hungry my lecture um it was like an introductory one so instead of three hours it was only an hour not introductory it was like talk about the assessments um my eye still really hurts and i've just made myself as you saw just some cut up apples and a green tea because oh i was starving i feel like whenever i go on like a diet like cut down your calories like even if i would eat this much normally because you're thinking about it it makes you more hungry but to be fair like i only had two wheat bix and they kind of just so i didn't really have much breakfast whereas normally i have like a big breakfast cereal so 
yeah, I'm just aiming to eat only like three meals a day, low calorie, healthy, three meals a day and like one snack that's like healthy. <sighs> okay, so, confession. I, I can't remember last time I filmed. It was probably yesterday before I went to a house viewing. So I went to two house viewings and I came home, made food. I made this chicken for the first time and everyone was laughing. I should have just filmed it. But, um, because I can't cook very well. But this, it's now been a whole other day. Oh, just pulled on my sleeves. Yes, I am wearing this because it's comfy. Um, but basically I had a lie in today because I haven't had one all Christmas and I thought, might as well just have one, get it out of the way. So I've had that, I just, you know, I've just chilled all day. I've watched the whole, um, I'll just put you there, I don't know if you can see. I've watched the whole of Sex Education on Netflix. Really, really good. Everyone's been talking about you, and I watched a couple of episodes, and it, honestly, I think it was shit. I don't even want to watch the end of it. Um, but this was really, really, really good. All I've done is do that. I've I had some soup, and now I've made food, and now I'm watching um, Avatar, and that's literally my entire day. It's just been so boring because like I have no um, seminars to go to, have no. Like nothing like that. I'll show you my food. So this is chicken um, with bacon, leeks and cheese, coleslaw, lettuce, tomatoes and like, I don't know, sour cream? No, what's it called? Salad dressing and then just peppers and mushrooms in a sauce. And it's really good. Really healthy. Really, um... Just because I haven't done anything. Just been led here for literally the whole day. My lips are so dry. It's disgusting. I look like a corpse. Because I'm that pale. But yeah, I think I'm just going to like wash my face. I've done this thing that Tina Halad has um, talked about. Where you get your face washed and you rub it into your skin for exactly a minute just so then your skin like actually takes in the creamy bits and then you wash it off. My face has felt so smooth afterwards. Um, skin is still bad though. But I hope it gets better. So today I only have um, like two lectures, I had a bit of a line, I woke up at eight, like my alarm went off at half six, I kept turning it off and off, um, but yes yeah, so I just woke up, joined the gym, um, so I can then do that like tomorrow, um, but I've just had some breakfast, I'm just preparing because what I want to do right is loads of my stuff, I have like nothing on at the moment the next assessment I have is 5th of April so I want to like get everything done because I have a whole month off in April and if I can get all my work done before then like choose the essay question write it all and then when I have the actual lecture just follow it up a bit better then I can have April off and just work 24 7 which I work nine days, Monday to Friday, I would be able to get like £2,000 maybe. So that's what my aim is. So I'm just going through like essay questions and then, but I always have the struggle of I want, I want to do all of them. <laughs> like there's five here 
for the one due in April and there's just loads that I would like to do so what I'm going to do when I come back because I have this lecture now is um, look at the lecture slides and then decide what it's actually about because the last one seems what I'd actually want to do but I've done that before and I know that it's hard to find references so I'll see which is like easiest to find references because um, it's either the last one the second one or the third one that I'd want to do and I don't really want to wait for the last one to be able to write the essay um, but there's one that is ongoing which is 3,000 words but like you do it from each like we've already had two of the topics which I'm going to be doing this, the first topic and like so I need to write that like now so now when we start the second topic next week I can kind of start writing that as well so like when it gets to May and I've got all these deadlines and they're all done I just need to like make them presentable instead of being stressed and then I can go home and revise for my exam that's in like end of May, June or something and just work so that is my aim now I feel a bit motivated because I've realised if I do it now then um but yes, I was going to go gym this morning. Not gym, um, I was going to go for a run. But I don't do running very well. I start running and then my throat closes up. So it's not very good. I'm just wearing gym leggings. This, which my mum shrank. This was like massive. It was like all the way down here. Um, my hair's got really long. Like, when it's straight. I hate it straight, I just look a bit um, plain, I like it curly but who has time and then just my adidas that need a clean but yeah, so I'm just going to take my laptop with the lecture slides and then come back, look at the lecture slides, what one I want to do and, um, and yeah, that will be my aim for today and then I have another lecture at back from my lecture and what I've decided to do is because this is like the first one due in in April like I've decided to because I don't know which um, question to pick there's three that I'm deciding out of so what I've decided to do is just write down all of the um, I'm just gonna make notes on every single one of the slides um, just so then it's done and then look at which ones like the most interesting look at which has the most reading um because it's not like each question goes with each slide like it was last term so i'm gonna do this because i'd like to do the last question but it looks very broad and big which could be quite good but then you don't really scratch the surface on what you actually want to discover so but my plan is to like try and get this done by the end of february also my observing society that's a 3001 get that because that's like ongoing get the topic of class get that done and be like obviously starting the music one that we're starting next week and then because all of this will be done all of the slides will be done i can do the reading um for it and then just decide which one i'd like to do because and then just adapt on my reading and just extend on it so yeah that's currently what i am doing this is um the divided self that i'm doing now so yes i'm gonna make some food at the minute in a minute because it's 20 to 12 so and then i'm gonna write down on my little pad which one like what question i'm gonna do for each thing just so it's all set out and I can start my reading for it and then like as long as my reading is all done on everything and I have all my quotes and everything I need then I'll be able to go home for April and just work um like nine to five just so I actually have money 
um, to be able to go away with. So yeah. Do I look different? <laughs> I had a comment. Um, wait, let me just close my curtains. And I'll come back. Okay. I have changed into a different person. <laughs> um, I look a bit weird. Because, like, I haven't been tanned like the rest of me. Um, I'm going to do that in a minute. And my lips look a bit pale. Like, I need to properly do... Oh, God, I look really scared. I think it's the lighting, because like, when we're up here, we look weird, but fine. This is my eyes. Same as I always do every time. Please like this video if you'd want me to do like my actual night out makeup, because I always get comments, like messages from people going, oh, can you do it? But it's the same every single time. Um, I've just done my lashes, that's why you can probably see glue um these are tatty lashes tl mitchell but i just need to curl my hair but yeah i kind of like i've ran out my hair's so greasy as well i've ran out of um uh my makeup leak shades which is why like it's kind of very oh wow okay i'm gonna blend this out so I don't have my like really light orange shade, shade, so I have to use like a darker orange and that's why mm, you can see that. Um, yeah, I got a comment on one of my videos saying like, oh, is this what you actually look like? You look so different, you look like a different person, like, that's what makeup's for. <laughs> like, I don't understand those comments because like, well, you clearly see me not wearing makeup. And then wearing makeup, so clearly I don't have an issue with myself without it. Like, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to um, Astoria. But yeah, so I'm going to Astoria. Um, it's Concrete Thursday, that's why um, I'm going. There's like loads of other people are going. But yeah, it's like, um, what's it called? Drum and bass music. I can't remember who's playing tonight. It begins with an S? No. Something like that. But it's about half seven, I think, now. So I'm aiming to be ready by eight. I just need to curl my hair. Um, and... And then put on some fake tan and put on my outfit. I'm basically ready to go for pre's. Okie dokie. Can you even see my makeup? No. Oh, that looks disgusting. I'm just gonna use this as a way to see what my makeup looks like. Okie dokie, I am ready. Um I've just put on this tan, right? I probably spoke about it on here before, but I'll turn it around. It's gonna go everywhere. Basically, and I've got, I've made like literally three people be obsessed with it. It's the Bondi Sands, cause if I was tanning so much in um, over New Year's with like Boxer Day New Year's, I wanted like a, I've never used a one day wash off one, but this is amazing. This is the, the glow but matte version, and it makes your skin look like foundation. Like, it goes a lot darker because I've obviously just put it on. But it's completely, like, dry to the touch. And it's, like, doesn't come off if someone spills a drink on you. Like, you have to... Oh, I need to put on my earrings. My earrings. Um, it only comes... Like, you have to get a loafer and scrub and then it just comes off. Um, but, yeah, so this bralette, mine a pink one. This is from Primark. And I've just got this thing from Primark as well and I've tied it up tuck this I wore this to Rams the other week it's just oh just tuck that up and then I've just got my skirt from this guided and I'm just gonna wear my um vans my black and white vans but I have no socks so we'll have to go sockless this is what my makeup looks like should we go around here can't even see it I'm just gonna put a mirror on. Just gonna see. Oh. Hello. Hello. 
Okay. Both of them so secure. I am just in the lift. I'm back to the creams. I've got me drinks in a HR bag. Um, but yeah, I may film tonight. Probably not. So yeah. If you want to have other makeup looks in this light, it's just the light. I hope. <coughs> but yeah. See you tomorrow when I'm barely hungover. Suit, but every time I stand up, I feel so ill. <laughs> My head is like pounding. I don't want to take any tablets just because I don't know. I hate taking, I don't know. I just would rather have water instead of like using something else to make me feel better. I just want to sit and watch a film, but like. Watch the screen. I don't know whether the soup helped or not. I want to make some mushrooms. Or something. Some mushrooms in finito seasoning with some goat's law. I reckon I'll have that for dinner. It makes so puffy after I've just eaten, eaten, after I've drank alcohol. But yeah, so this will be where I am for the whole day. I wanted to go to the gym because <coughs> I've got a membership now at the gym here. I haven't been there, so... I literally have done nothing tonight or today, just led in bed. Um, I made dinner though, had a pie and some salad and um, then Ed suggested we get Domino's so I had a Domino's potato wedges, coke, cookies and garlic bread. So, hmm, I feel a bit better. Um, I go to the gym tomorrow like really early super early but this is the end of the uni week i haven't had much to film or do because it's like induction week introducing everything back so it's been a bit boring but um thank you so much for watching um yeah please like and it will hopefully get more